Good morning, amazing hackers. Hope you're all doing well today. It's almost 10 a.m. for me, and I open Twitter and I see this tweet by a guy called Stephen Lacey. And if you aren't following him, I'm gonna put his details in the description below. Now, the tweet I'm talking about is this one that was sent into the world of over two hours ago. And it says, I'm uncovering what seems to be a massive widespread malware attack on GitHub. That's quite disturbing. Currently over 35,000 repositories are infected so far in projects including Crypto, Golang, Python, JavaScript, Bash, Docker and K8S. It is added to NPM scripts, Docker images and installed documents. That is really, really quite concerning. Now let's read on with this tweet. Give it a like real quick, give it a retweet because this is interesting of course. Most of these commits seem to be innocuous with messages such as bump to version 0.3.11. Now unfortunately this GitHub specific link hasn't been found anymore. Uh, some of these repo histories include commits from the original author, but the commit is not a GPG verified. So we'll have a look at this one and again, not found unfortunately. And on others, there's another link, which again leads to a 404 page, unfortunately. We would really have liked to look into these, but that's not possible. Some of these repos were archived, such as this one in 2019. Again, leading to a 404 page, all of them. The, this attack will send the entire env of the script application, laptop, laptop, electron apps to the attacker's server. Environments include, of course, security keys, AWS keys, crypto keys, much more passwords, username. You guys know the deal. Usually they tell you, do not save any of this stuff into the repository itself. Save it in an environment, grab it from the environment variables. Now in this case, of course, if you do that, that means that that data will be sent on to the attacker. Some of these are obfuscated as legit looking pull requests. And again, I'm gonna <laughs> Yep, 404, but the, the repo has not received any pull requests. Every single Go file in that repo was infected. The attacker created fake, fake orgs slash repos and pushes clones of legit projects to GitHub. For example, this legit crypto miner project right here, and this does lead to, of course, a legit project. And then we have a clone of that, which unfortunately leads again to a 404. I wonder what's happening. Why are these pages being deleted? Because this has been posted less than two hours ago. So this cannot be too long ago that these pages have been deleted, right? I discovered the exploit as I was reviewing a project I found of Google search. This is why we don't install random packages of the internet. And this is a big problem as well, because sometimes we'll include these packages in our projects, not realizing that we might have the fake version included or that we might just have a, uh, a infected version even that's sending all of our environment variables off to a fake server that we don't even control. That's a very bad thing. I don't have to tell you, I guess. I did report this to GitHub, the search phrase for reference is, and we have a link here that does bring us still to quite a lot of things. Well, we see three pieces of code right here in Sigma. Um, so it, it's a little bit, uh, if you guys know um, Sigma HQ, they make a bunch of different software. And in this case, this is a signature format, apparently. So it's really a little bit worrying. Sorry about that, my friends. There we go. Now uh, let's go back to the Twitter thread. Search your code for that URL. Of course, if you have a GitHub project, do it. It might be best. Best mitigation strategy for identifying falsified commits. GPG sign your commits. Update, the attacker runs arbitrary code on your server once it uploads your inf. Okay, let's hope that this... Nope, still not found. Thanks at Reggie for pointing it out. I tried curling the endpoint, got zero responses. Correction, 35k plus code hits on GitHub. 
not the infected repositories. So, um, apparently there's also a number of Go projects infected. We have the same search query here. Since this has been reported to GitHub, it might have been taken offline. That is why we might see so many 404s. But it's quite a big problem, of course. Um, this indicates that malware can still infect a lot of repositories without us even knowing about it. Uh, so I wonder what the outcome of this will be. I'll be keeping an eye on this. I'll keep you guys updated as well. And again, socials will be in the description below. Thank you very much, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one.